Hi, this is Kyle with Global Social Media Marketing. In this video, you can expect to learn how to set up events and conversions in Google Analytics 4. If you're looking to set up a custom event as a conversion to track important actions that are happening on your website or mobile app, like leads coming in, sales coming in, or even people signing up to your email list, you'll want to keep watching this video. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going over kind getting of conversions set up in Google Analytics 4. So this is our global Google Analytics 4. The conversion section is in the configure workspace over here. In Google Analytics 4, all of the important actions that you would want to track for users are event-based. So what that means is that there are events here that are by default that like comes with all the properties like clicks, page views, you know, those are things that are events that are being auto-populated by Google Analytics. Now, what conversions are, a conversion in Google Analytics 4 is an event that we are saying it's special and important to our business. And that's why we're counting it as a conversion. So in order to create a conversion, you have to create an event first. You can't have a conversion without an event because conversions are based on events in Google Analytics 4. That's just how um, the software is set up. So um, if I wanted to create an event on our homepage here, you can see that we have a roofing leads case study. We have it targeting keywords that roofers and professionals in the roofing industry would be searching. And so our ad pops up in front of uh, whatever they're watching on YouTube. And when they click on our ad, they're driven to this page. Now, what I want to do is I want to set up an event that's tracking people that are becoming leads. So say, you know, I'm a roofing pro. I read through all this stuff. I'm like, wow, these people really know what they're talking about. I could get 60 plus qualified leads a month. Let me go ahead and schedule a call here. So they'll click the button, they'll put in their information, you know, all this stuff. And then when they click submit, they are directed to this thank you page. So if I create an event as a page view telling Google Analytics, hey, every time someone views this page, they are a lead. To do that, you go into Google Analytics, you go into the configure workspace, you're on the events tab. What you're going to do is you're going to create an event. You're going to click create here. You can see that I have a lot of events here that I've set up. Create. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name this page and it comes up there, page view, and then I'm going to say GSMM roofing example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, let's do event name equals page view. And then we're going to do page location. And then we're going to do contains. And then I'm going to go here. And I'm taking the slug. So this is like the main domain here. I'm just taking the slug is pretty much everything out after the dot com. So thank you page. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that in here. So what this is saying is whenever there is an event name that is a page view. So whenever there's a page view and that page view is happening on the page that contains this thank you, then Google Analytics is going to say, okay. Um, those criteria were met, so I'm going to increment this page view GSMM roofing example with one. And click create. And if we scroll down, we can see that that is right there. So now that's created as an event. The part that is a little bit confusing um, sometimes is this second portion because what you want to say first is you want to say, okay, what is the what is the thing that I'm tracking because you know, there are so many options. You could do page view, you could do click, you could do scroll, you could do login. Like there are tons of options. So first I had to specify what the what the type of event was in the first place. That's this first line here. The second line is me specifying where specifically, because if I just if I if I just had this, then this event would be firing for every page that someone views on the on the entire website. 
You know, you could be looking at a blog, you could be looking at the contact page. It wouldn't matter because there's no um, there's no specifying condition here. So that's why I added that second condition to be to be page location. I did contains and then, then I did thank you page. And so the event gets created in here. That event is created. Sometimes it takes like 24 hours or 48 hours for it to like list in here. Um, I think that's just because of the way that like Google's servers are set up. But um, that event's created. We know it's created because it's in this created list here. Now to create the conversion, what we're going to do is we're going to take this name here that we made. So we're going to call this, um, we're actually going to call it walk through so it no one gets confused what you're going to do is you're going to take this you're going to copy it and then you're going to go to the conversions tab here the way that you create conversions in google analytics 4 is to specify the event that you want to be marked as a conversion so you know if we look in the events column you see this mark as conversion toggle here basically if you're creating a new event you click create and I'm pasting the same exact name in here because I'm pretty much just telling Google Analytics for, hey, this event, I want you to make it a conversion because I really care about it. I really want to focus on it. And then it's listed right there. GSMM walkthrough example. So now it's marked as a conversion. So now in my reports, I can see when that starts populating, of course, I can see that conversion data so conversions right here you know this is uh, the conversion we have set up for our solar funnel you can even go to the different pages and screens scroll over conversions column here and then that would be populating so these would be how you would see the things that really matter for any sort of business model online whether that be you know i want to get more subscriptions for my online course. I want to sell more of my product. I want to get more people subscribing to my email list. I want to get more leads for my lead generation company, like whatever it is. Now you can track that and you can have specific reports that, that would track that specific conversion. So that is Google Analytics for conversions. And that's how you set up events and conversions in Google Analytics 4. If you found this information useful, please do consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload new videos, and sharing this video with anyone else that would find marketing and technology tool walkthrough videos useful. If you have any questions about the setup, the configuration, or you would like to request a future video, drop us a comment below. I hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.